Good afternoon, it's Clinton Gray. Today's tutorial we're going to cover uploading a KML file onto Google Maps on your PC and through your Google account making it available on your Android smartphone in the Google Maps account. Right, let's crack on. First thing we're going to do is open Basecamp. Those of you that saw the previous tutorial will recognize this particular route. Right, basically what we're going to do is we're going to open up that route. We are going to bottom right hand corner, create a track. All the details will come up here. Let's close it down. Right. Basically, what we want to do now is we are going to export that particular selection. What you're going to do is find a folder in which to put it. You're going to rename it. Sunday breakfast run. Now critically, please remember this, you've got to change it to KML. Right, let's save it. And that's done. Minimize that. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go across to your Chrome browser. Make sure that you select the correct Gmail account. Okay, once you've opened your Google Maps, You'll move across here to the three little lines, go to your places, select maps, and in the bottom of the there's a little title called create maps. Click on it. You're then going to move across to the left hand side and click on import. Select a file from your device. Sunday breakfast run and open. It'll then go through the process of uploading it to Google Maps and it's saved in your drive. Okay, and there is your KML file in Google Maps. Let's minimize that. Basically, now we're going to go across and have a look at my cell phone. Right, we're going to open Google Maps. The same three little lines. Notice the Gmail account is the same as the one that I used to do the uploading. Go to your places, Maps, and there's the untitled map. And you're going to double click on it. And there it is. What we're going to do now is I'm going to show you a couple of things that will be of use to you. So this is usually the interface that you'll see in Google Maps. So you want to see where you are. You can click on or center yourself using this little icon here. So that will put you in the proximity or let you know where you are in relation to your track. Also, as a tip for you, I'm going to show you how to create offline maps you go to the top left hand corner select offline maps select your own map and basically this is what will come up you can then move the map around zoom in to take in a bigger area and you can basically set the area in which you want to create offer offline maps once you've selected it, click download and it begins downloading your offline maps, which will help you if you're in areas where there's very little signal and to save your data, you can then utilize those offline maps to follow the track that you've just uploaded. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you've really enjoyed it and that you've learned something. If you've enjoyed it and you'd like to leave a comment, go ahead in the comment section, like it. If you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate your support. And don't forget to tag the little bell so that you can get further notifications of other tutorials. That's it for today, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.